Well, what I was saying that uh, for young people to, to get them interested in macrobiotic is, uh, the, I think, I think for my for my generation they are. If I talk about it, they, oh, my friends, at least the friends around me, they like it. They if I sometimes I invite my friends to my house and they cook the meal and they really like it. They are generally interested in. It. And then when I say something, I. I could like this and then they are fascinated but then not many people are bothered to actually buy this kind of food from the shop. They can't be bothered to choose which shop to buy food and then cook at home. <laughs> it's the lifestyle, it's busy and... Uh, so uh, what is uh, Clear Spring doing to kind of reach kind of yeah. younger people? I mean it's changing its packaging, advertising. Yeah. I don't know if Clearspring is doing anything particular to appeal to young people, <laughs> but they were uh, doing a lot of things to appeal to the customers in general. But then, but the, I think health food stores and organic food is quite new things, so actually attract more young people in ge general, I think so. But still, I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe people who are into fitness and yoga and yeah, that's health. Mm. But yeah, that's true. Even the people who are doing yoga and fitness, I mean, they, they eat, but they, they neglect what they eat. They think yoga is good, then they do lots of yoga, but they actually they neglect what they taking sugar. And actually, it's very the most neglected part of I think, part e eating it. Yeah. So because you, we are not educated, yeah. actually, we don't, so because what, they don't know. So what is the solution? What, what do you think would be important for society? Or? Yeah. yeah, but I think it's already, like, you are doing, you are doing making a website and, and lots of nutrition, books about nutrition, talk about the sugar is bad, and uh, they're not... This, that, and then so everybody knows sugar is bad, and fat is bad, but it's not enough. <laughs> I think it should be illegalized <laughs> sugar. <laughs> That's the should, it should be that way. But so what? 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 What did? What were your experiences of sugar? I, because I started eating very healthy, and uh, I not eating sugar that much now. So if I eat chocolate sugar, it makes me really hyperactive. I can feel, I can feel it, it's, it's wrong. And then I cannot, if I eat sugar in the afternoon, and if I go home in the evening, I cannot relax at home. I'm still, my, I'm still active and great. And the caffeine does the same thing as well. So it's good if I want to, I'm really tired and if I need a kick. So I will use the caffeine and sugar for this kind of emergency. But then, but I wouldn't, this is not something I would take. So what do you do now to get some energy? I don't, I don't need to do it now, no. because uh, I don't need to get energy from sugar now. It just makes me feel like my mind too messed up if I eat sugar. It's because my body has become quite sensitive. Well, people don't really feel like this. They eat sugar, but they don't feel that much because they're used to it. They're not too aware or sensitive to their body. So, uh, what you, you said you do, you're studying shiatsu. Yeah. Uh, how, how is this uh, incorporated with your foods and understanding? Yeah, stu studying sh shiatsu is really good because I, I did like. I do like the sort of body works and yoga, the physical exercise. And then I, when I actually, to be honest, when I start studying shiatsu, I just wanted to be able to get a job that I can freely work. <laughs> <laughs> and then I chose shiatsu because of that. But actually, when I started, actually, it's, I found a lot more than that. It's really interesting uh, interaction about people, and you become a well, you build body and about the connection and stuff. So it's a lot more than I just thought in the beginning. But still, I think it's perfect if you, what you, you can incorporate what you eat and also 
how you body, how you use your body, how you breathe, how you move your body. So it has to be together, two together. Because my shiatsu teacher, they're great, really good teacher, but they, uh, what they, what they, they, what they are eating is not too healthy. <laughs> it's because uh, we eat lunch together and the lunch break, but then they're not the task of sandwich or and like sugar or puree bar, so they're not eating because they don't know, <laughs> I think. But they're a great teacher and there's a good shiatsu. So, so, and also I think it has to be like to have to mix two things. But shiatsu and macrobiotics are both Japanese. As well. They, they, can't, they yeah. work together. And yeah, body, exercise, breathing and eating. Yeah. But I don't know many people can be so too, because their lifestyle is so busy. Now, that's the, that's the, I think, the problem. You cannot, unless you want to become doing concentrate on shiatsu practitioner or macrobiotic as a career, unless you want people really don't have time to do <laughs> yeah. yeah, but now it's good that if you go to gym and there are a lot of yoga classes uh, or meditation classes, lots of things going on, so it's more a lot more easy now for people to get into this kind of activity. But then you've got the yoga class and if you break afterward, but you come back and then you become stressed, lifestyle, and then you crave sugar, you go for drinking, and then again, <laughs> the same. Yeah. So what would be the ideal uh, in, in investment from the government or even in, in the retail to... industry? Do you think retail. microbiotics would go like McDonald's? reach out to the... Uh... I think it's good that there are so many choices now, that the people who want to become healthy, they have a choice to be healthy. There is choice, plenty choice to be. There are plenty of choices they can choose. And then if you want, don't, don't care, there's also choices. You can have the kebab or McDonald's or whatever. Yeah. So at least uh, we can choose. Before we couldn't really choose, but now we can choose. So as, and then and there's so many information available. Just it's everything is available, so it's up to us. And then also, uh, but we cannot control how we get to know macrobiotic because I wasn't expecting I would get to know to Christopher or this clear spring. I didn't expect it, <laughs> it wasn't my choice, but they happened to. So I was lucky. <laughs> so I cannot say what we can do. We cannot also we cannot force anybody to become macrobiotic. It's, it's more but there's always choices around, and then there's always something. If you want something, and then you get it. And you get it, whether if you don't want it or not, you get it. <laughs> Sometimes you don't get it if you want something, you don't get it. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but it's like this. But then, but there's always choices around. <laughs> I think so. I don't know that's what I can say. That is bizarre, I think. So bizarre. You expect something, and then when you expect, you don't get it. And then when you don't expect, you get something, what you need most. But th it's always there. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> That's what I can say. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>